Alright everyone, today we're going to be looking at some 5v5 Hellgates. Uh, we're going to be seeing what I'm doing wrong and seeing how you can improve as a player. Uh, I make mistakes just like everybody else, and I will be running a Bloodletter Taproot Bruiser build here. Um, my job is to kind of get in the middle of them, uh, kind of, you know, annoy the hell out of them basically, while being pretty tanky with some damage uh, and execution powers. So I'm going to try to get my execution to, you know, when they're below that 40% mark, get in there, get the job done. Uh, so we're going to take a look at what I do wrong and what I do right here. Uh, we have missed callers we're playing against here. Should be um, a good fight. So what we're going to do here is try to clear these mobs as the missed callers look like they're coming in for a fight. They actually end up backing down. Uh, when they end up backing down here, we don't want them to get position in the middle since the treasure's up. We don't want the boss to spawn uh, and have to fight under the boss or have to wait for the boss to clear before we get in there. So right here we're just kind of running through. Uh, we are getting a little cocky here with this with this jump in. Nazari only gets a one man stun and then pushes him away from my W. I don't know if you guys actually saw that there. Um, very unfortunate and I do have a little recording software here we got going uh, to like kind of take a look at this. Nazari gets a pretty rough engage. Um, we should be closer together before he does this. I, th I don't know if he thought he was going to get more than one person. Uh, not the greatest engage because we have three guys behind me I'm the next closest guy, and I'm pretty far away. Um, we're not going to get anything off of this engage. You got one guy. Uh, we're going to have to push past bats. Um, you Basically, it's not, not a great engage, but then it follows up with a really, really rough timing. Uh, I throw my W out there trying to get a stun as I do not have the level 85 daggers for the chain slash yet. I'm um, trying to get it there. That's why I was, you know, playing some 5v5 Hellgates for that amazing fame. I throw my W out there, and obviously I missed because everyone gets scattered. Uh, so now I have an ability down. Nazari has, you know, probably two or three abilities down. Um, we're getting our DPS finally there. Uh, their position is kind of rough because they're going to have to push right into the mobs. Um, so this is what not to do pretty much on an engage. Here I rolled to get closer to them, which is another... Uh, mess mistake here. Let's go back a little bit here um, as we watch this You're gonna see a couple mistakes right off the start here, and this is why this fight's gonna be so rough um, Obviously right there. There's about three mistakes right there differently um, I need to just kind of walk up to them here There's no reason I need to use my dodge roll some reason I use my dodge roll for that movement speed the dodge rolls You know a long cooldown, so it's not worth using right there um, So now I'm in the back lines trying to do things. I'm getting shoved away pretty much everywhere. I look I finally see this man over here. He's already about 3 4 self. This is easily easy kill for me most of the time. Um, he's attacking me, which is even better. I should activate my rel uh, retaliate about right now. Um, and what we're actually going to see is I don't have my retaliate popped. And I'm going to show you uh, what would have happened to him. We would have got a lot of damage down if my retaliate would have been popped. Some reason my retaliate didn't pop. I, I believe I tried to hit the retaliate, honestly. Uh, but it was, you know, when I hit another, another abilities, there's that short time. Uh, there's a short time frame where, you know, you can't hit any other abilities if you just hit a different ability. So that's what happened right there. Um, so my retaliate actually didn't go off. And uh, we're going to be in trouble here as he throws his clear robe in. Um, and I try to start running away, uh, which is another problem. Because right here, I have my E up. I should be dashing in. Could easily get one, one. Uh, execute probably and probably weakened at least two others if I didn't keep running away the reason I was running away because he had that cleric robe up and he was invulnerable so I was trying to you know stay alive for a little bit longer obviously that didn't work looks like the back of my team is kind of getting uh, you know a lot of damage down to them too Messiah looks like he's about to good drop down um, they should really be doing a little bit better uh, I was on a 1v1 situation I lost my 1v1 so it's not like you know it's their fault I lost my 1v1 should have won it uh, but this is just a misplay all around for me as I just um, didn't have my purge up uh, this whole time. So right here you're going to see I do actually slash through and do, I do get that kill. It's just a little delayed and that's going to be the problem. If I if I did it earlier I actually might even live here. Um, Messiah finally goes down over here as well. Um, and I do get that kill which is going to help us. Alright so now we're on our second fight of the improvement series. And... You know, we're getting engaged on real quick. Like, I get a W onto the bruiser in the front. I'm, stick, I'm sticking onto the bruiser here because the back line is actually going to be really hard to do anything to as they were really, really far back. Um, and I already used some of my mobility. We're not getting any damage down right here. And I'm going to show you exactly why we're not getting any damage. Um, so let's scoot back a little bit here. As I get in, we get a decent, you know, engage here. They could either focus full tour or push up and focus this guy with me. This is the tank. We're not going to want to be going on Uncle Ray. 
so we could yeah, they have two options these two damage dealers in the back here I believe now these are the two damage dealers Messiah is the healer I believe so we have two options here um, and it doesn't look like we do any of the above uh, Absur kind of throws a firewall down which is a good decent firewall he kind of separates uh, you know this guy so we can focus him what I would have liked to see him do is actually firewall the DPS away so we would have had free reign on the um, on these three right here all together so but he did have a decent firewall that's not going to be the problem Nazari's going to try to get in their face kind of uh, slow down their damage which is a good play um, but this guy safe zone's locked in you know locked hard down right now Aslet's kind of running away right here we get a little lag right there so that's going to be a problem for us to kind of understand what's going on but I do get plowed away as Absolute's trying to lay down some damage safe zone's a little weak here um, as I get back in it safe zone I understand he's weak and everything. He needs to attack right here. You notice how they're instantly kind of, you know, started focusing on us over here. He needs to instantly start helping. Um, what happens here is he runs around for a while uh, with these curse stacks on him. You're not going to heal up with the curse stacks on you anyway. You need to get in here and start doing some damage. We might be able to get a kill or two. Obviously, at this point, this fight's looking really, really rough, uh, and we probably don't have a great chance at uh, victory on this one. But we have, you know, we have some decent attacks going on, but... Now, safe zone still running around over here has yet to attack that's going to be a big problem for us so we're going to do basically zero damage um, without his help on attacking uh, we are all a basically a single target build uh, we all have single target builds so we could actually probably burst somebody if we all three attack the same guy doesn't look like we have any sort of focus real real focus we're just focusing whoever's in our face uh, basically not going to be the one or the way you want to do it I'm actually making the same mistake here I'm kind of running away useless um, right here to run away I think we were trying to get a reset is the problem. Uh, obviously, that's not going to be happening. Uh, right here, we have a, a DPS way outside of his zone. Uh, we should be getting three guys or five. We have five guys here. I don't know why we're not getting pe I'm not getting peel. We should be all five on this man uh, like glue. But he is actually able to kill me um, even like in our back line with five of us. So that's a little rough. We didn't have much communication going on there from the looks of it, even though we actually were all in Discord. That's the problem. Uh, you guys need to make sure your communication is on point. You need to have a shot color and a general understanding of, you know, how to play 5-5 Hellgate. So I hope this video did help you guys out today. Um, I know a lot of you guys were looking for advice for a 5-5 Hellgates and you guys were struggling to win some. So if you guys are struggling, you know, I struggle too occasionally. Sometimes we'll go through droughts or if you're going trying different builds that you don't know if they work or not and you're just trying them out. You got to have great positioning to make some builds work. Uh, and the blood letter is one of those that you kind of had to play it right or you're going to lose. So... Uh, I hope you guys did like this series, um, you know, like the series coming up. But I hope you guys like this episode is what I was trying to say, and I'll see you guys next time.